In this video on Programming Next Steps, we look at local and global variables. When declaring a variable or constant, the programmer needs to be aware of its scope. Broadly speaking, scope can be either local or global. A local variable is typically declared inside a subroutine, only accessible by that subroutine, created when the subroutine is called, and destroyed when the subroutine ends. A global variable is typically declared at the top of a program outside of any subroutine. It's therefore accessible throughout the program. And it's created when the program starts and destroyed when the program ends. Here is the code for part of a console-based Pac-Man game written in Visual Basic. The variables and constants highlighted here are all globals. They sit above and outside the local scope of the two procedures shown. As they're global, they can be seen and accessed by the whole program, including the code inside the procedures, initialize high scores and get input. We can see that the global variables are fully visible and accessible from inside the procedures. The variables highlighted here are all local. Counter is a local variable to the initialize high scores procedure. Key is a local variable of the get input procedure. As these variables are local, they're created when the appropriate procedures are called. They can only be used by code inside their associated procedures and they're destroyed when their procedures exit. You will notice that two variables can share the same name if they have different scopes. Counter is both a global variable for the entire program and a local variable of procedure initialize high score. Here, when the counter variable of initialize high score is created, it takes precedence over the global counter variable. The code contained within initialize high score updates the contents of the local version of counter and not the global one. Now this can get quite confusing and potentially dangerous when programs grow large. Excessive, unnecessary use of global variables can make programs hard to test, debug and maintain. For this reason, the use of global variables is generally considered poor programming practice. Although there are legitimate and sometimes unavoidable reasons to use global variables, local ones should be used whenever possible. A system of passing in required values to the subroutine via parameters and returning values is thus considered much safer and thus better programming practice. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is the difference between global and local variables? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of each? That's everything you need to know for the exam. But if you want to know just a little bit more about variable scopes, carry on listening to this beyond the specification section. So the way we've defined local and global scope in this video is all you need to know for the exam. However, the reality will vary greatly depending on the programming language we're using. Scope can vary from a single expression to an entire program and multiple levels in between. Modern modular programming allows for separate module scope, where names are visible within the module but not outside it. Block scope is also common, where scope is restricted to a subset of a given function. Another common scope popular in C-sharp is known as file scope, 